Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC guy. Today I want to go over suitcase connectors, give you some tips on how to install them and how to select the right size for the job that you're doing. Hopefully this will give you enough information to make electrical connections under your layout that will last the life of the layout without any problems. Before we go on though, how about clicking on the little subscribe button here and boost my numbers. Let's get the channel up to at least a thousand subscribers. So just what is a suitcase connector and why are they called a suitcase connector? Well, these are products that are made by 3M and also other manufacturers who now are, are making copies. But basically, for any wire that you want to make a, a connection to, such as a power bus under your layout, you can place the suitcase connector over the running wire like so, add a dropper, which might be something that you want to connect to your tortoise switch machine or any other device that needs electrical power to operate. And then you can clamp down on this and it will make a firm electrical connection. Um, basically, I have one here that I've just done to show you. You can see it's a good tight connection. And the good thing about these is they're rated for about a maximum of 30 volts, if I remember correctly, DC power. There are some that are, are rated for AC as well, but these uh, that I'm going to show you are perfect for model railroading. They're in that range for just about all jobs that we would do as far as DC and DCC wiring voltages and amperages. So you're not going to have any problems that way. However, there have been people who do complain about these connectors and say that they're unreliable. And I think part of the reason for that is that there are different sizes of these connectors for different jobs. And if you use the wrong size connector for a specific job, it's not going to fit. It's not going to work right. It's like wearing a number nine shoe, size shoe, and buying size 12s and then complaining they don't fit right. Well, this one here on my, in my right hand is a uh, number 5, 3M 567, and it's rated for a 12 to a 10 uh, gauge wire for the main running wire, and it can take 14 to 18 gauge wires for the drop. This other one here, this number 905, it's rated for 14 to 18 gauge wires and 18 to 22 gauge wires for the drop. So as far as I'm concerned, this one is perfectly sized for most model railroad uh, purposes. Your buses are going to be something around 14, 16 gauge, so that's perfect. Your feeders, something down around 18 to 22 gauge. So it's an ideal uh, connector to use with HO gauge and in, in gauge, and uh, even uh, some of the, the larger uh, lo uh, locomotive scales like S and O. Um, the problems then become when you start using this particular connector, which is sized to use with 10 and 12 gauge wire, with a 14 gauge feeder or bus. It's just not going to give you the type of electrical connection. And part of that reason is in the name, the other name for them, they're called suitcase connectors, but the 3M name is actually insulation displacement connector. And the reason for that is they have this little metal blade here inside. And when you close the, the device on that wire, it cuts through the insulation, displacing it, and then it bites into the wire itself, making the firm electrical connection. However, if you're using a, a, a device like this one that is sized for 10 to 12 gauge, and you're using it on a 14 gauge wire, guess what? That wire is too small to be used with this particular device. And you're not going to get a good firm electrical connection. And that's why over time it could degrade and you could have problems. And problems like this are very hard to debug under a layout. Uh, you never know because they're, they're often are in a mitten. You might tug on it and it might bite in a little bit and then it will cut loose again. Now there are other types of these connectors. These are from my friends at 
allelectronics.com. And these are, they call these a quick splice. Sorry, trying to get this back into the video here. Uh, these, on the other hand, in, co in comparison to the uh, 3M905 and 567, these are designed to work with a single size of wires, both the feeder and the running wire. Um, the red one here is designed to be used with 18 to 22 gauge wire, this one with 14 to 16 gauge wire. They also have a 7300 that works with 10 to 12 gauge wire. And I'll include all these in the description as I said. These are great for making splices. As the name says, they are called a quick splice. And that's what they're for. If you have a 12 gauge, I mean a uh, 18 to 22 gauge wire that you want to make a connection to, all you have to do is put them in here and clamp down and you'll have a great splice without any soldering at all. But just like the 3M suitcase connectors, these guys here come in two different sizes for two different sizes of wire, okay? 18 to 22, 14 to 16. So pick the right device for the right size wire that you wanna use them with. Otherwise, you're gonna be complaining after a few years that they don't work, okay? Now, there is yet another type of these that I like, and I use these quite a bit. Uh, these are called a T-tap. And they work the same way. They have a metal blade here in the middle, and it's got a little slot in it. Uh, let me see if I can pull one of these out and show you. There we go. So there's a little slot right in here uh, into which the wire goes, cuts into it just like it does in the others. And it also has this little slot here on the side into which a male quick connect will insert. And that makes a firm connection. So what you do is with these, you would place these over the wire that you want to connect to, like so. Take your pliers, and I'll talk about these in a second, and give it a good crimp, and that's all it takes. And then this can be inserted into an opening here on the side to give you that connection. Now I've inserted it. And any time in the future that you need to remove that connection to replace a device, you can pull it out, like so. I use these for all kinds of, of connections under the layout. I've started using these to connect my tortoise switch machines to the 12 volt power bus. That's a one way to do it. But let me talk first before I go on here about the type of pliers that you use. You need to have a good, firm square pinching motion on these when you close them on the wire. You want it to go straight down and crimp that wire, cut right through the wire like that. If you use a regular pair of pliers, that often will not happen. You, you can end up with these things going off at an angle, and it, it, it just doesn't work. You, ne you need a good square-fitting pair of pliers like this, and that will give you a good tight connection. So let me go ahead, and, and I'm going to do one of these for you just before we leave, just so you can see how easy they are. So let's assume that this 14-gauge wire here is my running wire. I'm going to connect to it, put that in there, take a piece of wire, this is about a size 18 gauge wire, red one, insert it in the other hole, these have two holes, so I'm going to insert that wire in there, and it has a stop at the end of it, so it only goes in so far. This one goes through, this one only goes in that far and then stops. Then you simply clamp down on it with your pliers, give it a good squeeze. The lid should close like a suitcase, thus the name, and you've got a good tight electrical connection. Well, that's a pretty straightforward uh, package deal for you. So we've got the 3M type electrical 
connectors. We have the all electronic quick splices and we have the all electronic T-taps. And again, these are sized for different sizes of wire. So make sure you select the right size device to use with the right wire. I can't say that enough times. That is the critical part of this whole job. Um, that's all I have. So add your comments and qu your questions to the comments and I'll be happy to respond to them. And I'll add all of these devices. Most of these you can get from uh, elect uh, allelectronics.com. Um, these, the 3M devices, excuse me, uh, I think uh, this one I know came from Mauser. This one, uh, Prop Mauser also should have this as well as a number of their others. Use the right size connector for the right size wire and you won't have any problems. That's it for this time. Well, I hope that provides you with enough information to use these suitcase connectors with confidence and to get some good connections out of them. Just remember, use the right size connector with the right size wire and you won't have any problems, okay? Um, other than that, I've added a couple of video links here uh, on either side of my head at the end of this sequence. And again, uh, there's an icon of me here on the right-hand side of your screen. Go ahead and click on that and it will take you to a subscribe link. So I appreciate you subscribing. Have a good week and we'll see you hopefully by Friday we'll get another one out.